welcome back everybody to the X-Plane Flight Simulator and I'm wearing an enormous hat that I just found for some reason anyway. One of the most crucial parts of actual flight simulation is of course a good controller. A good joystick for example or a yoke. You know right here we're using of course our good old Airbus joystick you know which is built after the A320 joystick right from the Airbuses right indeed. Um, and that of course comes with a nice quad throttle quadrant and I'm just taking apart my whole desk. Here we go. But what if this kind of stuff happens? You unplug the USB-C cord of your controller. Yes, what happens if you're actually completely poor and cannot really afford to buy a this is actually $200 I think. This is this is $200. Yes, a proper joystick costs a little bit. And what if you can't afford it? Of course, one option would be to go for well, mouse yoke. And well, look at my mouse. Would you really like- This is actually a, a very cheap mouse right here. Would you really like to actually play mouse yoke with this mouse? I mean, I've tried it before in a video and it just absolutely failed. Another way you can basically save some money is using a gamepad controller, like an Xbox controller, but I've tried it before and, um, don't do it. I, I just I just never really liked it. It never came any second even close to this kind of joystick. But today, let me present to you another way. And that way is right in front of us. I think everyone should have it. An iPhone 12. Yeah, everyone has it. And just kidding. Yeah, no, this is just my broken up phone that I've been having for a while now. Yes, today I'm gonna use my phone for flight simulating. Yes, because there are ways to connect your phone with a flight simulator like this. X-Plane, and um, the way is quite complicated. Yeah, you have to download some sort of like CCP server here on your Windows computer and actually also use it of course on your phone, which is a little bit complicated. CCP, by the way, stands for Computer Control Piss Take, because it is quite a piss take to install indeed. You know what, let's just try this anyway. So let's just go ahead and start this right here. Everything is ready to set up. And now our CCP server is ready. And now we just have to launch it here on our iPhone. You know, of course, it does work on Android as well. So I hope you can tell what I'm about to do. So this is actually the, the correlating iOS version now here, which helps us connect to the server. And here now, our desktop shows up that we can, I, get, I can't even tell anything. Probably not, but he, we can just press our desktop right here. Connect it. Can you see that connected? Yes, we're connected to the desktop. And this little magical software down here is automatically linked to the X-Plane Pro Flight Simulator, right? And we actually can already see right here if we can go to the joystick. Yes, CCP controller does actually work, which is quite crazy. Can you see this little knob right here? That's a joystick that we can move. And uh, it is time now to see if it actually works. Yes, everybody. Yes, we are using an actual phone as a yoke. So let's maybe see, does it work? Can we use the phone? Yes, we can fly a Cessna 172 with an actual, that's just crazy, with a phone. All right, so this actually took so long to set up, so I'm just very proud of this. So anyway, let's go and actually just try to fly this Cessna. I still am using my normal rudder pilot here for the flight simulator, right? Because I'm not, you know, stupid. And I have to control throttle, because that won't work here either, with my F1 and 2 keys, right? Which, maybe it might just be a little bit of an inconvenience. Yes, everybody. Today, we're, again, we're here to check out whether this would actually be a good option for people that won't don't want to spend extra two hundred dollars all right anyway let's just go ahead and roll onto this runway let's just run over some sheep yes here we go and uh well i think we're already here for our actual flight this is gonna be quite crazy to think all right let's go with it do this all right put the flaps to 10 degrees and uh get this plane taken off runway one zero let's go all right here everything is ready here 50 knots 60 knots let's go ahead and actually just take off right here Yes! What a proud moment. We are flying an aeroplane, right, left and right with a phone. And actually, oh my god, it is... What a moment! We've done our first crash with the controls of the phone! That's not going very well. But, <clears throat> all right, anyway. After this absolutely successful takeout, let's also actually try to do a smooth landing. All right, welcome back on board a working aeroplane. Let's see if we can... Make this aeroplane survive this interesting landing that we're about to do. The flaps here are ready. Of course, we can normally use a mouse for that one. And we can pretty much even use a mouse quite well for the throttle input, am I right? What really sucks using a mouse for is, of course, the controls. Now, what this kind of feels like right now is kind of like a mobile flight simulator, so not good. Alright, alright. Let me just try to actually make a smooth landing right here. This is hopefully going to work. Yeah, let me just say, you know, just fingering your whole phone the whole time is probably not the most accurate way to drag down your... Ah, oh, plane controls. Oh, this is exactly what I mean. It's very easy to just slip right here and just... 
die. Sorry about the tires. All right, uh, we've just died. But actually, you know what? We made it to a runway using a phone. And you know, honestly, this landing hasn't even been that much worse than all my other landings that I just nor do with normal joysticks. So this is totally fine. Totally professional. Alrighty. Let me try maybe like a bigger plane. Is that a good idea? How about a 737 or something like that? That's probably a very bad idea, but let's do this anyway. Alrighty. Welcome back on board our 737. And yes, of course, the controls work. Even though I do doubt that this is going to work properly. Alright, anyway. Put the landing gear down right here. Yes, got everything ready here. The flaps down. The spoiler is armed. We're going to can do that normally here with the keyboard no joysticks needed the only thing that we really need now is our little phone all right but you know to be honest though this whole experience isn't even all that bad at least not as bad as i expected right i mean the you know the delay of the actual inputs that are not even all too bad considering this is actually um, you know streamed over wi-fi of course so you know this is really not bad and honestly this integration quite all right like if you're really really poor and cannot really afford to buy literally anything that maybe this is the case this is actually of course a free software as well but anyway let's maybe try to get this airplane landed here now Wow! That's actually been somewhat nice. Of course, I'm lacking rudder controls. I mean, I can use mine. Uh, never mind, I can actually use mine, right? Of course. Uh, so I landed a little bit off center line, and now we have to... Uh, how do I get the reverse thrust on? There we go. Yes! That's actually been a nice landing right here. Done with the joystick of the bone. Nice! Even though I might have landed a little bit on the left side of the runway. But this has totally been fine. Here we go, pretty secure touchdown. Again, we're not going to talk about the... And yeah, that's been fine. They're pretty much a British plane. You know what, though? I'm, I'm, I'm actually totally fine here now. But let's maybe try a little bit of a more complex aeroplane. I have, an, I have a very good idea. Yes, let's try this one. This is the Lockheed U-2. The hardest plane to handle on this planet, you know? Mmm, yes. Welcome back on board a very special plane here. This is now, again, the hardest plane to fly. And especially the hardest plane to land. I mean, it cannot even land properly. It has only literally got pretty much one landing gear, meaning that you're gonna t end up touching down on the wings, which is the stupidest I think I've ever seen in my life, but that's another story. It's coming for a landing here with this aeroplane again. The hardest aeroplane to keep control of and to especially land here on a runway. Well, let's maybe try to attempt this anyway. I mean, you know what? Seriously, my, my whole mission about this now ooh, is just somehow getting somehow near that asphalt runway that we have right here. And we, ooh, we have a lot of wobbling going on. Mm. Let me just say this little joystick we have right here is not very sensitive, meaning that you're... Ah, you have a lot of inputs and we're dying. We're literally about to crash. We're literally dead. Dead. Ah. All right, this has been great. Okay, a bit of a water landing. All right, so let me try to re-attempt this. I mean, can, this cannot be that hard. Uh, trying to keep control here. God, this is seriously the worst flight simulator experience I've ever had. This is so, like, depressing. All right, everything else is ready here, though. Oh, oh my God. Yes, all right. Uh, this is so hard. This plane really needs very, very light and subtle controls. Very easy inputs, but here we go. Runway's coming up. I think this could be survivable. Come on, let's maybe do it. Actually, you know what? Maybe even smooth. That would be very ironic. All right, you know what? That's been totally fine. Let's maybe try to survive this. Okay, fine. All right, you know what? Very much approved, of course, this phone now. Man, if I'm being honest, I'm not gonna... yeah, but okay. You know what? I think I've got a plane that's even worse for this one. Yes, of course, we're back on board the Concorde. Yeah, this is actually a new plane. This is like one of those French ones. You might have heard of it. You might have seen it before. All right, so this is actually also a very, very hard to handle and hard to land plane. We're just gonna be, uh... A little bit of a challenge here, of course, with our circumstances. Let's get everything else ready here. The oh my god. Yeah, this is what I mean. Okay, anyway, let's land somehow. Please, come on. Oh my god. All right, now it's time to stop, please. Yeah, just also this the, the throttle control is like no option at all. Even though, you know what? We actually somehow made it to the runway, which is a little bit of an achievement. God damn it. Again, keeping nice control of the throttle is actually another big problem here with our F1, F2 keys. Sucks extremely much. All right, come on. Nice, stable, nice, easy approach. Let's not die again. All right, this is like seriously one of the hardest videos I've ever done. All right, come on. Runway's coming up. I just want to somehow get you landed now there, buddy. Yes. Ah, oh, this is so bad. All right, that's been a bit of a landing. Ah, all right, this is never going to work here at the stop, is it? That's just absolutely hopeless. Yes, indeed. This plane is very, very unhandleable and when you're in the... In the flare. Very hard to smoothly land as well. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Oh, what the hell is this one now? Yes, everybody. But anyway, using a phone as your control... Don't do it. Just buy something. Like, at least like something from, from eBay or something like that. 
Jesus Christ, this is painful. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, British Loser, One, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy. Stall, 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 stall.